Maybe people just got tired of seeing you repeatedly be way too handsy with your clients. Like, way too handsy. Ryan. Way too handsy. Okay, so there's this trainer, guys, in TikTok. It's been issue that is very touchy to the client. When we say touchy, you know, you saw the video, right? And it's kind of like, especially in assisting the squat, in assisting a bridge, in assisting in anything. He will genuinely touch or hold or assist or spot the client, you know, in, in the bum area, in the lower body area, or very, you know, like when we say touchy, when you touch a client, you shouldn't be touching, to be honest, that's part of the ethics that they will teach us in certification when we learn, you know, stuff in fitness. Do not touch the client like assisting in the butt area like that, or, you know, like, you know, very like here or whatever, or it's, that's no. You're basically, you're just making that excuse. Um, fit, fitness, you're making fitness or being a trainer as an excuse for you to able to touch somebody. Okay, I'm not saying do not assist the client. Of course, that's part of it. When you assist the client, assist the weights, not the body. Now, sometimes you need to learn to, you know, assist the client in a way, lead the body where the direction. But when you assist the client or touch the body of the client, sometimes you need to ask a permission. Um, would you mind if I assist you or like, you know, hold, uh, you know, uh, you know, this and that. And of course, you have to wait for the permission. That doesn't mean they paid you. That doesn't mean you have the right to do whatever you want to rock, you know, the right to do. And usually, like me, if I assist a client, I know I'm a woman, so usually there's no issue. Some of you will say, oh, there's no issue because you're a woman. Not, no, not really. But um, there's still some people are really uncomfortable being touched, okay? So usually if I touch, I usually use the back of the palm of my hand to lead the hand or to lead the hip. To lead the hip. Or this, okay? Or like, you know, a little bit push in the knuckle. That's it slight only you don't have to like oh hold here and you hold hold the client or the butt area for a long time and do that like you know push it push it also and, 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 and that's ridiculous you clients if you already experiencing that don't think it's normal because it's not normal okay that's kind of like part of harassment or kind of part of you know sexually whatever it's the person is sexualizing you okay you trainers, if you're really certified, you know the do's and don'ts and the limitation on how you assist the client and how you teach a client, okay? So don't put trainers in a bad situation because you're doing it. That's why I know what's good and a bad trainer.